Uh, when you open MATLAB, that's how a command window will look like. But I generally like to work with this feature called live script that I reached via home and using a new live script because here I can revise, edit uh, these scripts. Uh, you know, in a much easier manner than I could in the command window. So here I am in the I am in the live script and say I want to write or enter this uh, three by four matrix. So the way I will do it that I shall just write the name of the matrix and uh, then start with just start with bracket and then I'll go two comma negative one comma two comma nine and then semicolon then I shall type in the second row so instead of you having you know watch me type it I went ahead and typed these rows in and you can see I have separated them by semicolon and now to see that matrix entered in case I want to uh, I would just come here and press control and then enter key and on Mac accordingly. Now what you see here is that we don't have the boundaries indicated by the brackets here. Uh, I am uh, I'm attaching a separate uh, instruction or link to a separate set of instructions that you can use to do that but let's just live with this at the moment. So this is how we went ahead and wrote this matrix A in here. So here I typed in the three rows and then if you type it, you got to get the same matrix here. Uh, now you can see this here that we can write the product of matrix B with A because B is three by three and A is three by four. So if I press control enter to execute it, you can see I got the product of that matrix. Okay, and at the same time, I cannot obtain A times B because the dimensions, uh, sorry, because the dimensions don't match. Okay. And uh, if I do that, you can see that it will not give me any output or, or error message. Okay. <clears throat> and say we would like to get the row reduced echelon form of say this matrix A. All we got to do is just say RREF. A and then say control enter and it will return you the return to you the row reduced echelon form right here you can see that uh, the system that this augmented matrix corresponds to has a unique solution in that case and the other operations are also just uh, they just go in intuitive manner for instance if you want the inverse of the matrix b and of course it has to be non-singular in order to give you an inverse it's right here and uh, you can just uh, go ahead and verify that your answer is correct okay that is uh, i mean this answer is correct and we are having this verify but anyways let me waste a few seconds of your time uh, so you can see the product is identity matrix this negative sign is because of round off okay now let's move towards linear transformations so let's consider linear transformations from r2 to r2 and let me just take one here that is say i'm taking a transformation you know matrix multiplication by a matrix of of course an appropriate matrix appropriately sized matrix that gives you a linear transformation so in this case uh, say we have uh, the linear transformation negative one zero and zero one so what this will do is as you can see from these two columns that if you take a say a vector one one here it will reflect it to negative one one okay and i'm going you know they're too fast here in my symbols okay so here negative one one and you can check that out that i got negative one zero zero one and if i so here this went to this and i multiply this by one one what would i get i get negative one and then one so this is a uh, reflection by the x2 axis right okay so you can see this or you can have uh, 
this MATLAB draw the pictures like this that say you have a region here. I'll go with simple again. Say I have a triangular region. You can have MATLAB reflected to a corresponding triangular region here in a way that I'm going to show you now. So see, I'm going to look at the region here, say that, uh, you know, a triangle with vertices uh, 1, 1, uh, 2, 1, and then say 1, 2. Okay. So what I will do is say I got this triangle here and I want to fill this region in and see how do how do the reflections look like. So what I would do is that I shall give it to MATLAB as a matrix with the X coordinates in first row. Okay, I may write one, uh, two, one and the Y coordinates in the corresponding Y coordinates in the other row. So this is first one, this is second one, and this is the third one. All right. So let's see how well it's going to draw it for us. So going to MATLAB. One moment. So I'm going to type in the matrix C as in the first row I put first row I put the x coordinates of the points and in the second row I put the corresponding y coordinates and then I'm just going to fill that triangle in by doing this that here I'm going to write this so what this will do is that for the, the first row are going to be taken in as the x coordinates and the second row of uh, C will be taken in as the y coordinate sorry yeah here okay and uh, then let's just give it the color say blue all right and we will put say line width as uh, you can put anything one onwards i like uh, two and now if we press control enter we have the triangle drawn but let's just uh, change the uh, the length of the axis. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take the axis from negative 3 to 3 on both the sides because 2, 1 is our farthest point on the right. So this should be good enough to accommodate it. So I did control enter and here is the triangle for us. So what we can do here is let's just take uh, D as our vector. Uh, remember which vector was that? Negative 1, 0 and then 0, 1. All right. So that's the multiplication vector. And what we are going to do is that we are going to multiply the core, the, the vectors that give the, you know, that are giving the vertices by this matrix and see how do they reflect this triangle by the axis of Y or by the X2 axis actually. So this is D, so let's just take a matrix E as, okay, D times, D times C, all right, so here is our matrix D times C, and now what we would do is that, and you can see that, that will, when I press control enter, it gives you the coordinates of the new triangle, and I can do the same thing again, and just to, make the process faster. What I'm doing is that I shall just change C to E here. Okay. And once I do that, okay. Oh, I see. We should again put the, uh, first we should have said hold on here so that it uh, didn't uh, get rid of our previous work. Okay and now i think it should show us yes so here it is and if you want you can just uh, change the color instead of blue let's change it to our uh, yeah the magenta is showing up and that's our college's color also all right so here is the reflection by the x2 axis likewise say i'm taking the matrix uh, f as uh, negative 1 0 0 negative 1 then you know that this will give us uh, let me just say hold on again okay so in this case what we have 
this one reflects the you know everything you know around the origin so what we can do is that we can write this down all right and let me erase all this here okay d times c c was our original matrix and we'll change this to what we'll change this to g and just change everything to g here hope i'm not boring you too much okay so g and you shall see the reflection through the through the through the origin no it didn't happen why didn't it happen because uh, we don't know why did this not happen with a negative one zero zero negative one and we oh i see the reason it didn't happen that because i forgot changing this and i'm wasting lots of your time here and here is the reflection by the origin and since we did this much uh, you can turn me off if you want uh, i would just do this here that is uh, i may not have to say hold on again hold on again and f g h let me call this one i is identity matrix so le let's leave it like this this will be reflection according to the x1 axis right so h i j let's call it k okay k or k in my original accent okay so j so we will put it k k here again and that yes very good first attempt so here it shows you this reflection here and now let's go towards the rotations then and then i will stop talking so for the rotation let me just take uh, let me take the symbol r and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to just rotate everything counterclockwise by pi by four so you know that's how that rotation matrix looks like okay and then we have cosine pi by 4 and then sine of pi by 4 okay so here is my r all right and uh, then i will uh, just call and here let me let's keep everything on let's see how they look relatively okay so this is a matrix r and then what I would do is uh, I will just take a matrix, say L, as R multiplied with C, where it, what it does is that this is the triangle given by, uh, you know, the, the, the rows of Cs, you know, those coordinates give us the vertices, okay? And uh, then we are just going to go ahead and replace this K by L here, L, L again and then uh, let's change this color to red just to see how the rotated one will look like so here uh, this has been uh, rotated by pi over 4 to the you know so uh, all the vertices are rotated that way in the same way the interior is also rotated okay and you may stop here because you know how to get rotation and everything but we'll just go ahead and conclude with uh, you know with some figure uh, in which one of the vertices is the origin so let's look at that and i would just say hold off so that we can have a new beginning okay or actually instead of new beginning why don't we just take a new file all right so bring in a new live script and what we are doing is this that uh, i mean i just typed in before it's the same thing so in here one of the vertices is zero zero so there you go you have uh, the triangle as this and now what we can do is let's hold on to it and uh, then we can uh, define our rotation as we did before okay so here what i did was i just uh, you know did what we did in the last one just typed in everything did the multiplication and here you can see that uh, your figure is rotated by 45 degrees 
and if we put x is equal we can see it even much better okay and so there we are all right so here it rotates and now if you want you can just write a single command to see all the rotations in the following manner that is uh, so i'm just doing this see what what we are doing is we want to find one complete rotation that is rot rotations through pi over 4 3 pi over 4 going all the way to uh, 11 pi o so sorry uh, 7 pi over 4 okay so what we would do is we are just going to say for t ranging from 1 through 7 and by default it will go in the steps of 1 and now we just uh, typed in the same matrix as we had here with t as parameter here mm -hmm. and uh, then we are going to do this we don't really need this here okay because that is already filled okay and uh, I mean I didn't have to raise it and F is this and then we are going to fill F so what it will do is it should fill all the rotations for us and I, I'm including this script in the uh, in the description window so once we do that uh, you shall see that you know all the rotations through like multiples of pi over 4 are indicated here okay so let me know if you have any questions all right uh, just one last thing you can use once you click on this figure just go use this arrow and now you can play with the figure you know a lot more and uh, I'll, I'll just let you do that whether you want to like uh, rotate it 3d or do whatever you let let you have fun with that okay all right so let me stop here